say Yakuto in his youthful age that is 1924 with his nice hairstyle currently called Amelie by today youth Part 4 Osei Yakuto sitting in state checker 1935 sitting majestically from this lovely family we can see on the screen for Osayakuto was being presented to the world. You can see him with his father and his other siblings. This beautiful picture was taken far back in 1940. It is written in the scripture that blessed is he who has found a wife. Helena is on the screen with his lovely husband. This picture was taken in 1967. From the screen, we can see some priests on the left side and also say Osei Ajimai Prempe the second. This picture was taken in 1930. His Excellency Kofi Annan and Vice President Ali Mahama exchanging greetings with Bafo Sayakoto. Akwaba in our local dialogue, Bafo Sayakoto welcomes Prince Andrew during his visit to Kumase. Bafo Sayakoto welcomes Prince Charles alongside the former head of state, Genrak Akufu. He pays homage to the new king of this great kingdom, the Ashanti kingdom, I mean, Tunfo Osei II at his installation in 1999. His Excellency. Former President J. E. Kufo, seen of Bafo Seyakuto after a visit to his president.
Parliament of St. James and my fellow members of Parliament, senior members of society here in Kumasi, students, I stand here on behalf of the family of Nanaba Fakuto to welcome you to this very major event which is marking the commemoration of 10 years since it passed. The events have been designed over a period of a week beginning on the 3rd of September last Monday, exactly 10 years since he died. And today's event is, the, I consider it to be the peak of the activities where very prominent academicians and chiefs have been invited to write a testimony to the contribution made by Anapa for to our political, social, cultural development as a country. We are going to hear some really interesting analysis. I've had the privilege of reading the four major papers by these very top academicians, and I can assure you that it is going to be a very interesting afternoon. The, pro the proceedings of this seminar will be published in book form to be distributed around the world. Um, who is the flagger of the party, is on his way here, will join us at the tail end of it to, to run off today's uh, proceedings. Once again, on behalf of the family, I would like to say a big welcome to you all. Thank you. Well, as is customary with these uh, events, there is always uh, a titular head, a chair. And we have, uh, for these proceedings, a very distinguished nationalist <coughs> statesman as chairman to uh, steer the affairs so that we can all leave this place as edified as uh, we want to be. Our chairman uh, frankly needs no introduction, and um, I can give you a tall list of uh, achievements and uh, a distinguished biograph, but I think um, by simply mentioning his name, all of us in this room uh, will know that um, it is quite appropriate that uh, he should chair this occasion. I'm talking about Akente Apiamika. Minister in the Second Republic, Barrister at Law, one of the leading industrialists of our country. You all remember the Apilo Soap Factory. Today we speak, the next year we will talk about industrial development, about indigenous, the indigenous country spirit. Well, Mr. Apiamika, was exhibiting that kind of spirit when some of us were still in our lives. And uh, we're fortunate enough that uh, he's still around writing books on his own life and events as he has seen them and did them, as well as giving lectures. Just last week, he gave a distinguished uh, lecture. Fortunate to have him as our chairman. And uh, without uh, wasting any more of your time, let me uh, turn over the chairman's uh, gavel to the very distinguished statesman, Mr. Akente
before we do that, you help me to get hair from your chair. So I think it's appropriate that uh, the Honorable Apiarika should uh, offer his remarks before we proceed, in case he wants to give us a special direction. So let's give a hand of applause to our chair. Blood, 
unless you say great people like Bafo Osayel Koto, Jenkin Tama, the Busias, the Dogos, the Arab Osayel, the Yamanis, that this nation has been brought to this our present stage of our multi-party democratic system, the rule of law, respect for individual human rights, and the media freedom. Through the blood and sweat sacrifices of personalities like Marfo, Messiah, and Kudu, this our beloved Ghana has now been positioned to the final stage of our political independence, matured into a multi-party system with the rule of law and the rest. But all these shall be illusions. All these multi-party democracy, blah, 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 rule of law, and all those things shall be illusions. Unless it is crowned by the final state of the developmental and economic independence, free from corruption, free from tribalism, and free from party political polarization of national issues and concerns for our nation before we can catch up with the Asian Times. Our honorable, distinguished, respected, perspective speakers, today I'm sure we are going to hear a lot about this country and about this great man, Bafo Osei Akutu. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. And uh, because um, it's meant to be an interactive process, um, after each presentation there will be opportunity for us to interact with the presenter. Uh, each presenter has about 15 minutes uh, to uh, uh, present uh, the paper, and then uh, the interactive uh, aspect of it will begin. Uh, at the end of all the presentations, uh, we are discussing. We'll uh, then wrap it all together for us uh, so that we can uh, uh, conclude. The first presentation is to be delivered by Bafo Session and uh, six, the Maria uh, Hill sentiment. I think it is important that we uh, set out in some detail the biographies of the presenters, uh, just so you understand the, uh, the depth of uh, resource that has been assembled to do justice to the life and times of Bafo Osei Akutu. The Bafo Osei Shaman to the six, the Utufo by Santini Maria is was installed as the 12th Marine to the Kwasi Perito School on the 1st of June 1995 by the 2-4 Kukuwa As Marine, Bafo serves as especially to the king of the Ashanti Kingdom, the uh, 2 4 and um, as a traditional bodyguard defending and protecting the person and the quality of the occupant of the Golden School. He's also the custodian of all of the gold ornaments of the king and is head of the Maria clan, made up of over 200 chiefs and sub-chiefs scattered across the Asante Kingdom. As one of the heads of uh, the Jasimai Asante, that is Jasi and Kobia Maria in Kosovo, Bafo was an integral part of the successful nomination and installation of the 2462 as the 16th occupant of the Kosovo School. The father of Bafo is a medical practitioner and known as Dr. Anthony Jose, a graduate of the Ghana Medical School uh, in 1982, where he specialized in preventive health care delivery using health publications and other means of health education. He has postgraduate education from Ipswich, England, at the School of Arts Communication, University of Ghana. He has been the editor in chief of the authoritative community of acclaimed health guide magazine. He was medical director of the YHG Medical Examination Center that proved, provided a comprehensive medical checkup using state-of-the-art facilities. They were the first to introduce mammography machine in Ghana and Mohawks. Bafo is the publisher and managing editor of the New Nation Times Daily Newspaper and authored many articles of diverse uh, interest. He has about 25 books on the publication on diverse subjects from religion, chieftaincy, personal development, health, business, and biography. As a development-oriented chief and a keen enthusiast of computers and the internet, Bafo 
platform has been the peace setup in their usage in and out of the traditional setup. He has tried to harness their potential to bring development to its traditional constituency. Bafo has engineered the sister city relations between both the daily life in the United States of America and the Marian plan. Through the Diaspora African Forum, representing blacks in the diaspora, the founder of the Trumpet Awards in the USA, Ms. Zinona Clayton, has built an educational complex in Brentufum, Imaya. Mare has witnessed a influx of investors, collaborators, and benefactors to their villages and towns. As an entrepreneur, Bafo has founded many businesses and is currently the executive chairman of the Candela Group, as well as OSS and H Company Limited. Bafo has been the chairman of the board of directors of the Export Development and Investment Fund here from 2006 to 2009, and served at the behest of the two for the Asante on many committees and boards as well. Bafo is a strong Catholic, is married to Mrs. Eradra Ose, and has 18 children, five of whom are father, by mother, and many children named after him and forefather by him. He is from the Ekwana clan. He lived and grew up in a Santini town of Massey, attended the St. Joseph's Boys School from 1959 to 1966, the Bokoi Secondary School of Massey from 1966 to 1971, the Kwame Secondary School in Exit from 1971 to 1973. And he was also in the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology School of Pharmacy in Massey from 1973 to 1974. I present to you Manana Ray. As they mention the name Bafo Osei, every time, you know, there's some sterling in me. Why is it so? There are so many things that I share with Bafo Osei that sometimes uh, I believe I also have something to do for as Antimari and Nation Ghana. What am I talking about? Bafo is from Himai. Like he is from Bafo Akutu's Himai. I am from Himai, Benjou Kumu Himai. Bafo is on the corner, and I am on the corner. He was born almost 50 years to the day that I was born. 1904, I was born in 1954. <laughs> Bafo has a title Bafo, and it is not every chief that has a title Bafo. I also share this title. Bafo has many things that he's done for our nation through his political beliefs. And I'm sure my fellows down here would know that I played at the time that the new patriotic party was being established. Bafo is suffering from the fact that because of his involvement in politics, chiefs were banned from engaging in partisan politics. Fortunately for me, I was engaged in partisan politics before I became a chief. And now I find it tough to talk about politics because the law of the country prevents us from doing that. Bafo was in the special room that the nomination of the last game was done. Young as I am, I was there with him. And even a week before that, there has been a lot of promotion surrounding the date for the burial of our late king, Nanautun Fokugwai. At that meeting, Mighty Amai Union of Asantimai wanted to have a special day for the funeral. And Bafo, being our leader, senior in every aspect of the world, in the uh, history and culture of our people, was part of the team. And these people prevented us on that particular day. I don't know where it came from. That spirit came unto me that day. And I remember Oenimba and bring in telling me at that time that Bafo, you should shut up. Because if you are not careful, he's a man who will make a slaughter 27 uh, around. I told him I was prepared to slaughter 54 because what we were talking about was engineered by Bafo and Nana Asantejima. I remember after we had gone to the room for the nomination, we came out and Bafo, and this is something that for me is a big Thing that Bafo informed Chami and Chibosiakum 
do you know that this young man, Mare, is going to help us and mine greatly? Sincerely, I was passing and I was taking him back. It was because of what Bafo has seen in me, and I was happy to hear it coming from him. This is somebody who has been in a cultural setup, who has been a father, a grandfather, who has been a cultural icon over the years. Bafo was born in an era when the sages of the time believed that Western education was instrumental to the total development of any youth. It was considered to be totally risky venture, and no loving grandmother would subject her grandson to the peril of Western education, be it whether primary or not. But knowing very well and having experienced the death of a son who challenged the gods and the ancestors, I'm referring to Bafo's grandmother. In 1904, as I mentioned earlier, when Bafo Abuto was born, Nanajimai, Asamu Prempe had been subjugated and exiled to an own land by the proponents of the Western style of education, leaving our nation, a something nation, destitute to the plunder of economic vampires who had little to no consideration for our cultural and traditional values and norms. As a matter of fact, whose ulterior motives were to annihilate as anti both in spirit and in form. It, if it were not so, how could anyone explain the use of military artillery, either to unused anywhere in the colonized world to subdue, plunder, and desecrate the rich cultural heritage of the Asante Empire? 200 years earlier on, Opinson, the founder of the Asante nation and his spiritual ally, Okonfalochi had waged war of freedom against the dangerous and triumphed. He again had been consolidated by his grand nephews, Anopokwari the first, Sekodo Kwebia, expanding Ashanti beyond the boundaries to as much as 70% of present day Ghana and beyond in mid 18th century to the staggering of its defeated foes. Anajima Pampo and his four uncles, Osepari, Boku Fofi, Osei Bonsu, Osei Awakutu, all Asante Hines, before him, established the Asante Kingdom, and as he claimed, was the least pugnacious of the Asante kings. That is, Anako Abudia the first, Pampo, never went to war during his 33-year reign. Incidentally, he it was who created the Marais too in 1844. Anajima died in 1867, and Asante knew no peace from then. I am giving this background to the era that Bafo was born. Nana Kogubi uh, the first was one of a confident, uh, his era was one of confident power and rule. After Nana Kogubi the first, Asante was embroiled in international conflict and became engulfed in a civil war that saw the installation of four kings, the disturbance of two of them, the premature death of one, and the sending off of one into exile from 1896 to 1924. His repatriation, though joyous when it occurred, had virtually broken the spirit of a superpower, Asante, and it's noteworthy that supporters for his repatriation got across tribal boundaries, notably African members of the Legislative Council, Nana Furiata, Kisli Hayford, Dr. Kotepapa Fiu, and Nana Isandor Lete. From this period to the restoration of the Asante Confederacy in 1935, it became apparent that an agenda had been set, and that was restoration of Asante his past greatness. Bafor Sabuto was Ohineba, he was Ohine Nana, he was Ohine Sin, and Utunfo Asante Hine Chiang. All rules institutionally recognized in the Asante custom and tradition. His father was the Akasi Hine Chiang, Hine of the time. 
his paternal and maternal grandparents were. And now, of course, we have second you, and then Nanaya, Akutu, Saya Akutu. In fact, he is an embodiment of Ashanti royalty. I had a chance to read the tribute of all 